Welcome back to DBL. Being on Big Brother, I know a thing or two about reality shows, but also as a viewer who watched the original season of The Real World. Earlier, Tori caught up with Julie Gentry and Andre Komal about their Real World reunion almost 30 years later. That's today's Chatting with the Stars. Julie and Andre, welcome to DBL. Seven strangers picked to live in a house. Sorry, I just love it. The real world changed the course of television history and the world of reality TV. Why do you think MTV specifically picked you to be part of this amazing social experiment? Julie, you go first. I think they were terrified of what I would do to myself if I was left to my own devices. and. Um, at 19, I did not know what I was doing at that age. And I really was looking for, you know, to have some other experiences and just, you know, get out of the South for a minute. And I think they knew that I was anxious for these kinds of opportunities. And so I was an easy one to, um, to cast for that. You, you were like done and done. Andre, why do you think they picked you? Because I'm a crazy character. I, no, you know, I think that we're all very opinionated mm -hmm. and uh, we all come from different walks of life and mm -hmm. uh, have something to say, something different to bring to the table. I think so too. Andre, I want to ask you this. I don't know if uh, some of our viewers might not know this because reality TV has taken over the world. Y'all were the very first, in my opinion. When did you realize, Andre, this show was like a big deal? I guess when the, we saw the first episode, it all became clear that this was going to be a special event. Andre. The door opened and I saw five other people, nothing like me or most of the people that I hang out with. But it wasn't until uh, they started airing the episodes back to back that we realized that this was going to have an impact on our generation. Julie, what's one thing you regret doing while the cameras were rolling? There was an episode with my mom that really hurt her feelings. Um, really? When she came Just give me a hug. Don't cry. Oh, well. It's going to be okay. Because, you know, it is one of those things when you sign up for this, and I'm comfortable putting myself in right. a goofy position and making a mistake. Like, I'm good with that. But it's another thing to bring your family into. Totally. Uh, Andre, what was it like reuniting with the entire cast 30 years later? I mean, what was that? Was, were you nervous? Super excited to see everybody. We've really kept in touch over the years. So it's because all of us have seen each other at certain times over the years. But it was the first time that we were all together wow. since the early 90s. It's just unrealistic to think that something that we did in the past that was filmed was not going to be brought up again. Wow. It's like you guys were all a social experiment, all out on each other, and you only have that group of seven. You only have been through that story, the seven of you, that's it, in the whole wide world that can understand that experience. Is that right, Julie? Absolutely. And I think we really rely on each other a lot, you know, in that way. When we went in and did that, we had to trust each other so much. And it really did help us form a strong bond that has lasted. And I guess it gave us a certain comfort level coming back together. Yeah. But that part is really special that I, it's hard to really explain to people. Yeah, that camaraderie, that's like very unique to you guys. Well, reality TV shows have changed, but I have to say they're all fake, they're all scripted, except for you seven. I'm so honored to talk to you. Honestly, you were the first and you really made an impact in terms of pop culture. Julie and Andre, thank you so much for joining us. But DBL Nation, you can stream the real world homecoming, New York on Paramount Plus. Get some popcorn and watch a real reality show. We'll be right back.